Community foundations are a vital part of our community, making a big difference across Vancouver Island. In this week's Vital People, Tess Van Stryden introduces us to some of the dedicated volunteers of the Machosen Foundation and the important work they're doing. So clearing away the top so that we get a little bit of that plant material. Shannon Birch is a retired scientist and researcher. Beautiful. Look at the roots in there. She specializes in the study of fungi and she's volunteering with the Machosen Foundation on a new citizen science project looking at Gary Oak ecosystems. The work had never been done up here and this is the northern range of this oak species. So we're very curious to know what fungi are associated with Gary Oak up here on Vancouver Island. The groundbreaking research is the continuation of an earlier project Shannon did. Excellent, good. And they've already made surprising discoveries. Very early days yet, but if it's anything like what we've found thus far, we are finding species that are new to science, that have never been described before, that are growing with our Gary Oaks. Clearly woody roots. The volunteer-run Machosen Foundation is a community foundation with a focus on environmental issues. Our mission and our, and our vision are both focused around environmental stewardship, environmental awareness and education, and ultimately environmental protection. This is one you find in lawns, and it's called the fairy ring mushroom. The foundation's BioBlitz Biodiversity Project is the second longest BioBlitz in BC, running for about a decade to inventory and count local species. We have identified in Machosan uh, over 3,200 different species. Uh, that's fungi, plants, animals. Another example of species here in Machosan are these wonderful mosses. People can upload their observations to iNaturalist and the hope is that by getting people engaged, their love of nature will grow. One of the things that we find when we do these BioBlitz efforts is that when people know about the nature in their community, they start to really want to care for it. For Kem Luther, the outreach the Machosen Foundation's done with schools to develop curriculum and support materials is especially rewarding. We all realize that uh, those of us that have an interest in the land and its use and conserving it, if we can't pass on this love of our land to the next generation, uh, all of our interest is for nothing. Shannon just hopes the work they're doing will inspire others to get involved. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.